Hi guys, welcome to the Caddy project. So I bought this van probably three years ago because um, I was driving around in a Range Rover at the time and I needed a, an economical daily. I picked this up for £600. Um, ramper, it had been sat for about three years but it started, it drove, um, drove it home, got an MOT on it and it um, passed after a few minor details, I think it needed a, a dry shaft boot, um, some brake pads and a few bulbs all around. Absolutely, you know, absolute look of the draw. So £670, I've got a working caddy. So it's a 1.9 TDI, um, PD engine, about 140k on the clock, which is quite low. Um, and I drove it for about six months and then I thought to myself, right, I'm going to turn this into a bit of a project. Um, as you can see, there's obviously some bits done, but you can also see that it's it's uh, very, very incomplete. So I wanted to start this channel a long time ago, um, but unfortunately the last two years during the pandemic, I've been really, really busy uh, with, with my day job. Uh, I've just not had any time. So uh, I've managed to find a bit of time now. Um, the van's been sort of sitting stagnant for, for a year or so. Not a lot's been happening. Um, so I want to, start off now i'll run you through what's been done already um what's still to do and what the the end goals with it are um uh yeah there's gonna be a lot of you know we're gonna have sort of how to videos um because when i was doing things and when i've been trying to find things there's not been a lot of information out there um on people doing what i'm doing to this van um which i'm sure you can guess just from looking at it um so we're gonna you know we're going to try and help others out there, inspire others, um, and yeah, just see how it goes, really. Um, coming to the channel as well, I'm going to have some videos on this little baby. So, this is the daily at the minute. Uh, really needs to go off the road to be honest because it's uh, winter and this is not a winter car. But uh, we're going to have some videos on this. This needs a, a little bit of work doing. So we're going to have some uh, modifications on this, we're going to have some repairs, some, some updates and some resprays and stuff. Um, we've also got a uh, some videos on a Range Rover coming. So we've got a supercharged um, Range Rover Vogue, uh, which also is a bit of a project. So there's going to be some videos coming on that. We're going to have tool reviews, sort of just tool guides. Uh, just a bit of everything really, bit, everything automotive, everything tool related. Um, yeah let's uh let's get cracking i'm gonna sort of talk you through what's been done in this van already um and what what's still to do so starting from the obvious on the outside uh, it's the front end so the whole idea with this van is to uh, it's, a, it's a 56 sorry i should say that's 2007 late 56 2007 reg van um I have stripped the entire front end off. All these wings were really, really rusty anyway, so they needed replacing. All the all the corrosion was all there. So I've ripped the rings off, ripped the bonnet off, front bumper headlights, and as you can see, I've got the the, the sort of the newer shape, 2016 to 19 shape front end on there. So I've got the wings and the bonnet, all just in the standard black primer. Um, the wings are, are mounted in down here at the bottom. Um, underneath and in the mirrors so I've had to replace these bits of glass so these in the older shape caddy these have got more of a curved end so this is this is brand new from Volkswagen these are aftermarket this is aftermarket um, this side's brand new as well um, I've just placed an order for a load of, uh, of the sort of other little bits and bobs that make this front end, front end go together I'm picking up a set of headlights tomorrow um they're only the halogen ones i do want the led drls but they're a lot of money and just to get this van on the road as quick as possible i'm just going to pop the halogen ones in for now and then just get the drls at a later date um you can see down here there's this bracket i'll talk you through this in a bit but i've ordered one of them to bolt onto that um i've got a this is a 2019 slam panel i'll lift the bonnet up actually We've got 2019 front end, um, bonnet catch, radiator, 
is the original radiator this all sort of bolts in it's, it's there's, there's a few differences in it but a lot of it's the same um a lot of people tell you it can't be done when i was looking at everyone was saying this this is too much of a difficult conversion but to be honest i'm not finding it too difficult at the minute it's just a case of really researching and finding the right bits and sort of trial and error so these are these are off the new shape caddy these are off the new shape caddy sorry yeah they are off the new shape caddy i'm gonna have to do a little bit of um cutting and changing here because where the headlights go in there's a little bit of modification to do so we'll find out about that when the headlights get here tomorrow um do a video on that um this is all uh removed at the minute just for cleaning purposes not really done it yet but that's taken out um got indicators coming as well pick them up tomorrow from volkswagen not really decided on wheels at the moment um i did have some just some uh rh split rims on this they were on that for a bit during the summer they've been on this before um, but i'm debating on wheels at the minute for this um, i'm thinking to go down the line of some sort of porsche turbo wheels or something like that i don't know um so stepping inside bit of a work in progress as you can see um what i've done i bought a uh, i've got a volkswagen turan that had been crashed quite cheap i bought this about bought that about two years ago um, when I first started the project, um, I've took the dashboard out of it, as you can see, I've got the carpets out of it, I've got the seat rails out of it, I've got the door cards out of it, these need a really good clean up, um, what, else, what else to take out of it, um, gauge clusters, I've changed them for the, the Turans, I've got the, the, the chrome surrounds on them, the caddies are, are pretty bland, but these are going to get updated to the newer style white ones anyway at some point, um, gear knob out of the Turan, uh, I've also done the electric window conversion, so I've got the electric windows which is there and on the other side, they all work perfectly. So that's the uh, all the motors and wiring from the Taram and then it's um, wired into the car's loom. Quite an easy swap to do, a bit fiddly but um, not bad and to be honest the price I paid for the, the Taram in total was the same price that I'd have, I'd have paid for a pair of uh, window regulators and door cards from eBay so everything else is a bonus and I also made a little bit of money breaking some other bits off the Turan so um, basically that if you're gonna do this if you're gonna do any sort of caddy conversion I'd recommend trying to find yourself a crash Turan just buy it take the bits off you need and get rid of the rest of it because you'll save no end of money um, this is a from a Passat I believe uh, it's a brand new part actually to be fair chrome surround on it um, I am going to upgrade this to the automatic headlights at some point, so this will be getting changed again, but this is only like a 10 quid part. This is a brand new piece, the ones, I've actually damaged it, which is annoying, it was a brand new piece. The ones that come in these are always smashed to pieces, um, they're all, you know, they lose all their, their colour, they, they, they fade away and chip. So I ordered this brand new, and then when I was putting the seats in, as you can see, um, I caught it there, which is a bit annoying, and I caught the door there as well. And there, so I'll probably end up replacing this door card because it's a bit mouldy. Um, these are going to get trimmed in red leather. So all this fabric here, this fabric here, this fabric here are going to get trimmed in this red leather. Uh, and these are a set of Audi. Um, they're out of an, I think they're out of an S5. So they're S line Audi S5 seats. They bolt straight in there with a very very slight modification. There's a there's two sort of little nipples underneath the seat rails so sort of underneath there which locate these onto the seat rails um, and one of only these seat rails only have the one hole for it so i think on the the other side you have to just cut the nipple straight off um, but these are not plugged in at the minute but they're all manual so they work perfectly eventually you might get around to this they are um, they are heated so they have got heaters in them Again, I've not got the wiring for them yet, but that, that's on the that's on the list of things to do. So I put them in it. They just find these as a really good deal on eBay, so I bought them. Um, probably a little bit out of sequence. Probably should have done some of the other stuff on the van first, but they're really cheap. Um, so I've got all of them. I've got the uh, the darker plastics in here. Um, I've got the other pieces in the back of the van at the minute. I'm just fiddling around with the back of the seats. So I need to take it out. Um, I'm going to get some plywood, carpet this up, cover that up. I'm going to have some six. Well, I'm going to have a six by nine in each side as well. Um, I've got the all the dark trim around here for the dash. I'm just waiting on some dark trim down here to match. Um, and here, 
Obviously, this is still the caddy ones. I need to, I need to order these in the darker colour from the, the later model caddies. Got the trans seat bases with the little cubby hole underneath there for storage. Um, that needs to go back in there. Steering wheel not changed yet, but we're looking at a Golf Mark 7 GTI steering wheel with the red stitching to go with all the red inside. Um, that's something that will come later on. Um, try and get them ordered in the next few weeks. Um, boarded all of these parts so I've got the newest style to run vents coming with the little aluminium surround on it so I've got them middle cubby box and far side I've ordered the uh, the sort of upgraded round aftermarket clip on bits for this um, I would like to change this to climate control at some point it's quite a big job though um, so I'm gonna get the sort of van running um, for a bit and get it used before I do that um, it's been sat around for too long, I don't really, I just, I need to get it running really. Um, moving on to the other side. So seat again, door card on this side. I'm going to replace this because this is really battered. Um, the, the bit I was talking about, this part on the other door looked a bit like this. So I'm going to get this replaced for a brand new one. Just give it that really clean look. I'm going to swap these out as well. So I'm going to put the... Uh, I'm going to get the all uh, brushed aluminium trims on it inside from the latest model Trans. Um, got the glove box, it's just sitting there, but I was just messing around with the heater a bit the other day, so that's all out. I'm going to put, put, put that back in. Um, visors, I'm going to change these out for the ones with mirrors in them. Um, basically, just everything everything that I can get hold of top spec. Um, try and get this this, you know transformed into a much much newer model vehicle um to make a bit more unique as well i will be getting um some floor mats i'll be getting proper tailored caddy floor mats probably get some red stitching on them as well to go with the uh, the red obviously red leather on this door as well i've got the armrest in there i'm gonna get red leather on the armrest gear stick needs changing for a leather one that's just a standard plastic one um and i'm gonna get a new one of these I might go red leather I might go black it's a little bit i think too much red leather can be a bit too much so I might just keep these black um, but yeah I might I might look for these sort of golf ball style gear stick from a GTI that might go on there nicely um, we'll rip that off I am going to put a reversing camera on so I should be putting a reversing camera mirror in there um, moving into the back as you can see it's used as a bit of a, a shed at the moment so uh, the, the plans for this is a full carpet lining. Um, we're gonna have ply, plywood on the ceilings, plywood on the walls, um, plywood on the back doors, all the way up to the top of the windows. So we're gonna blank those windows off with some steel plates, um, wrap them and then paint them on the outside to match the rest of the car. And then a full uh, door height plywood sheet on the inside. And then um, I shall be putting pack out, Milwaukee pack out mounting plates um, along the walls, the ceilings and sides because uh, I use obviously the pack out system so I shall be um, decking this out with the pack out boxes all around the side and that will allow me to keep the the load space of the van clear which as you can see I'm not doing a very good job of at the moment uh, but that's the plan with the back um, probably do a rubber floor uh, wipe clean because this will be used as a bit of a parts getter will be used as a bit of a um, bit, uh, cross between a show van and, and a daily it's going to be a work van it's going to get used uh, but I want it to be um, practical so we're going to get like a rubber floor in there so I can wipe it clean if I do have any oily parts in there or, or you know or such like that um, this bit we've got to wait this bit's coming just order this piece so this piece is a dark plastic for there it goes into the back and again we need this piece on here um, upgraded the sound system so I've put um, I've got Kenwood front door speakers in there I've got the, the Turan tweeters in there um, if anyone knows of a good replacement that fits in there let me know um, these are all right actually to be honest it sounds really good but uh, it's just been nice to go aftermarket all around uh, we'll be putting um probably kenwood six benign's in the back as well and then i'm going to get some nice flat subwoofers and amps underneath the seats uh, so really it would sound really really good in here um the head unit probably going to go for late model uh volkswagen with the sat nav um, i do want it to all be original or as close to original as possible so i want it to look like it fits i don't want any aftermarket stuff in there some of those aftermarket stereos from china they are they've got a lot of functions on them but they don't work that well uh they, they i had one years ago in an old bmw um, and it just 
it, it broke after not very long. So I think I'd rather go, um, you know, OEM Volkswagen and just get the best I can, really. Uh, mirrors, I will be putting Caddy Life mirrors on it. Um, so they're like the shorter mirrors. They're a bit more car-like, a bit nicer looking, matches the front end a bit more. And I should be getting the electric and heated mirrors. Um, I've got all the wiring for the door for it in the door over the other side, so wire them up, get them working. Um, DAB as well will have a digital radio. I think the, the aerial for the digital radio is in this mirror, so there will be DAB on it. This side door, we're going to replace this side door. There's loads of little dings and dents in it. Um, for the price of buying a new door, it's not worth repairing that one, so that'll be coming off. I also need to um, place these door sliders so these have all sort of fell off their brackets this one and the i think just the lower one actually but that needs replacing and then we're going to obviously repair all this this is just gouged gouged away over time so we'll get that um all patched up and painted the whole van will be having a respray I've not decided on the color of it yet so that's something that uh like a bit of input on everyone does them in nardo gray but i'd like something a bit different it's going to be sign written up in red on the outside so i do want it to be quite a, a neutral color nothing too bright i do like the bright greens and oranges but they won't go with the the interior and the sign writing um, we're going to have obviously we're going for the painted bumpers not the not the plastic ones the dro lights when eventually when i get them um moving back around to the rear Um, I'm just going to stick in the uh, my original lights for now, put them back in. These are going to get replaced for the, the newer style ones, um, but I'm not 100% sure whether to go with a tailgate yet or not. Um, so if I do get a tailgate, then obviously I need to get different lights, but the lights are going to get upgraded to the newest style ones anyway, probably get the smoked ones. Um, this door, we're going to keep this door. I've de-wiped it, as you can see. I've got a little blanking plate coming for that. Um, there's a couple of little dings on it. Um, they were circled but they're washed off so we're going to get these repair these um, this door is pretty clean well it's not clean it's straight it's not clean um, but the back's all right so we'll get that um, cleaned up re repainted get these um, I'm going to get these wrapped in some sort of like protective vinyl and then I will be painting over it um, the whole van's going to get resprayed, I say. So it's difficult to get a vinyl to perfectly match. So I'm going to paint it over the top of the vinyl. Um, new rear bumper we're going to put on. Probably get one with parking sensors. Get them wired in as well. Um, obviously, we're going for the newest style painted caddy rear bumper. Um, I think that's the outside, really. Probably get the roof rack on it. So it's no roof rack at the minute. Get the roof lock, roof bars on it. Um, I'll get some sort of packing, pack out mounting system on the top as well, I think. Um, just for extra storage side skirts uh, i think i'm gonna go for audi s5 coupe side skirts i know that they sort of bolt straight on they're about well they don't bolt on they bond on they're about they're, they're the right length they look good they match the you know the volkswagen group it'll all work um tow bar probably i was umming and ahhing about doing a tow bar on it i don't really gonna i'm not really gonna need it for towing it's at the end of the day it's, it's a small van i've got a range rover so if I need to tow a trailer, I shall use the Range Rover. Um, Body-wise, uh, a couple of little dinks and scratches on here, but I say we're going to get all those filled in, get all them smoothed over. Eventually, we'll get the whole van painted. Um, I want it mechanically perfect first before I spend a lot of money painting it. Um, but it will be done. It will be done. Um, underneath, at the minute, I've, we're going to do... Um, all new discs and pads so you can't see at the moment but there are no discs pads calipers or caliper carriers on these wheels so they're all off if you look through there that's all empty off there so they're all going to get a refurb um i've got new discs and pads in the boot of that car so we'll do a video on that um putting all that back together again um and then to be honest mechanically it's perfect it runs it starts it drives it does need a battery, so I have to keep borrowing a battery. Um, I've done a coolant flush on it, so it's got all new fresh coolant in there. Um, put all new fresh fluids in it, brake fluids, oil, uh, filters, do all that. So we'll do a video on all of that. Um, and then, yeah, that's it really. I 
trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, eventually, yeah, yeah, eventually I will be doing a, an engine swap on it. So, long term plan, we're looking at probably um, a newer sort of Audi 2 litre turbo, maybe some cat for Golf R, depending on, on, on pricing, really, what, what comes up at the right price. Um, something petrol, something fast, something turbo. Um, we're going to go for a Scirocco R DSG front wheel drive gearbox. Um, seeing some of these at four wheel drive there you know it's amazing but at the end of the day um we're going to keep it simple or as, or as simple as possible um it's not a track band I don't, I don't want silly power um so i don't really need the four wheel drive to, to cope with it but it's gonna you know it's a daily so it's, it's gonna be a bit more reasonable than some i've seen um but yeah that's it join me for the next video um it's a brand new channel so please help support me um like it subscribe it there's going to be a lot coming if you're into cars if you're into tools like i am i spend hours sitting watching these videos i thought it's about time i make some myself so um that's coming this is coming the range rover's coming i'm going to do a little i think i'm going back to my youth as well i'm going to i've been looking at doing a little peugeot 106 gti build because they're going through the roof at the minute in price um, so I want to buy a little Peugeot 106 and I want to do a full GTI conversion on that um, engine brakes um, suspension bodywork uh, I just think they're awesome little cars started off my uh, my driving career in the Peugeots at a, a 106 at a Quicksilver at a GTI I think they're brilliant cars so I really I really love another one but I'm not paying £14,000 for one so I'm going to build one myself so join me for that as well and uh, See you soon.